we have our, our graph. Let's take another look at this graph. Here's an algorithm that looks like n. This is n increasing on the x-axis, and amount of work, amount of memory, amount of whatever, increasing along the y-axis. And we'd like some kind of notation so that we can, we can describe how one algorithm compares to another algorithm, or how these two things compare, how two different things compare to each other. And so we have what we call big O notation. And it's called big O notation, as you'll see in a second, because that's one of the terms, and it's the one that we use most frequently in computer science. Okay. So basically, we divide this graph up into different sections, depending on whether we are the same as this algorithm above it or below it. So if we have some other function that grows with a different complexity, let's say we have a function that grows down here, what that means is that as n is increasing, it's taking us less time to do the work. Okay? So this first algorithm takes this amount of time, and our new algorithm takes less time to do the same amount of work. So this means it's a faster algorithm. So algorithms down here are faster, and algorithms up here are slower. What do we want? We want fast. Right? Fast, not slow. So if we have an algorithm up here, we would consider that a slower algorithm because n increases, it takes much more time to do the same amount of work. So the way that we describe these computationally is using big O notation. And we say that if something is in this region, which in includes the line down here, it has big O complexity. So big O complexity is that something is either the same or faster than whatever we're comparing. If something's exactly the same as our line, then we call that theta complexity. So theta means it's growing at the same rate. And I'll show you what I mean by an example, with an example of this in just a second. And if something's slower, then we say it has big omega complexity. So, so big omega means it's the same or slower. Okay. There's two more. So big O can be up to and including the line. Big omega can be above and including the line. And then there are two more terms. So confusingly, there's little o, and little o means faster, but not the same. So if an algorithm has complexity less than something else, but, not exactly the but could not possibly be the same as, then it has little o complexity. And similarly, if there's complexity not including the line, but slower, then we say that has big omega complexity. Uh, sorry, little omega complexity. So little omega is slower, but not the same. Okay. So there's five terms here. They're really critical terms. Big O means that you're the same or faster. Little O means you're faster. Theta means that you're the same, exactly the same. Big Omega means you're the same or slower. And little Omega means that you're slower. 
So at some point this semester, this graph or a graph like it will be on a midterm or a final exam near you, like in front of you. Okay. So it's really f critical that you understand um, what this means.